What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, and we're going to look at a new action in Power Automate. The action is the text functions action, and the one we're going to look at today is the find text position. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, if you've watched some of my uh, videos on functions, you'll know that this function already exists inside Power Automate. I did a video previously on that um, that function itself. However, the Power Automate team have decided that what they want to do is add in some easier ways for people to access this data as opposed to just using the functions. So what they've done is they've taken a couple of common functions that people use um, and they have made them into actions so that people can use them easily. easily. So let's take a look at that today. So I'm in Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger flow, and in my manual trigger flow, I have a single text input here. So it's called text for flow. Then I'm going to click on add new step. Then I go to built in, and we'll see that there is, if I expand this, we'll see that there is a new one called text functions here. If I click into text functions, we have a find text position and substring text functions here. The one we're going to look at today is find text position. So click on that. And then we get two boxes. So the first box says text, and this is a required field we know by the little red uh, asterisk. And it says this string of text to search, the string of text to search within. So this is the string that we're passing in. And then the search text, the string of text to search in for the string. So that means what are we actually looking for inside that string. So the first box is what we're passing in, the second one is what we're searching for and what we're pulling out, and what that's going to do is that's going to tell us the position of that text inside this string. So in the first box, I'm going to switch over to my direct content, and I'm going to search for my uh, text, text for flow, it goes in there, you can see it's updated, and then the string that we're going to search for, uh, we're going to search for the word uh, test. That's nice and easy. So we'll click on save, we will test this flow, I'll perform the trigger action this time, save and test, and then I'll say, hi, this is a test. And we'll hit run the flow, click done, run successfully, and we can see that the text position is at 14 here. So if we, if we count the number of characters inside this string, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then it starts a fifteen onwards. So that's how this works. So it counts the number of characters, and just after that last one is where it'll start. It is where it'll pick it up. So it's it's figured out that this is here. So we so. We've covered this before in um, in in a functions video, but just to recap that function video, I'm just going to add a compose action in here. Uh, compose, and then we will do the same thing. So the function itself is actually called index of. So we'll type in index of. Uh, my function editor window is not working very well, uh, but it's essentially asking for the substring and then it's going to uh, ask him for the string and then ask him for the text. So in here we'll put in uh, flow, text for flow, in there, we'll do a comma, and then in single quotation marks we will write test, like that, and that is all we need. So that is going to do the same thing as this. So this one I just added in one one piece of dynamic content there and then typed in the search box. This one I had to find the formula, had to put the, the trigger in the, the dynamic content, then had to put single quotation marks around this. So this is this is a little bit easier at the moment, but we'll test it and show you that they both do the same thing. I'll just use up previous test because that's nice and easy. <coughs> See that's output to 14 again, and this is output to 14 as well. And there we have it. So that is the exact same thing, but done in an action as opposed to in a, in a uh, single compose action. So that might be useful. Um, I know sort of sometimes you may, um, some people find it difficult to use functions all the time, uh, especially with the old editor window, but luckily I've just done a video on the new editor experience and you can see it in this video here, which makes it a bit easier. But I think 
um, the Power Automate team adding in common functions like this into actions is really going to help grow the platform more. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've liked this video, please like and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.